Love 50. Tennis is a weird sport. I've never met anyone who watches tennis with the express purpose of watching tennis. It's background noise, the screeching of shoes and grunts of people usually too attractive to grunt like that. You don't have a horse in this fight, but it's a sport, so you watch it. Every once in a while you'll pick up on a name like Nadal or the Williams sisters, and you can feel like you know something about tennis. Oh, and there's love involved. Somehow. You can't even sell jerseys or nothing. Maybe shoes, that's it. And bracelets. Then, all of a sudden, they jam a bunch of Mario characters into a tennis game, and it's a big thing. Of course it is, it's Mario! Mario Tennis! Who wouldn't want to see a giant dragon thing serving to an ape wearing a tie? Why does Nintendo get all the fun? What about a sassy hedgehog versus a futuristic retro news reporter? Don't think about that too much. Or several really creepy looking monkeys. Or this guy. I think it's a guy. Don't hold me to that. Behold Sega Superstars Tennis. When in doubt, pound together characters from Sonic the Hedgehog, Space Channel 5, Super Monkey Ball, Samba de Amigo, Jet Set Radio, Nights into Dreams, more Sonic the Hedgehog. Heck, drag Alex Kidd and the dude from Golden Axe out of mothballs. They need some air. Hand them all tennis rackets. Let them go to town. Kart racers and fighting games have been done, man. Tennis is the wave of the future. Your primary challenge in this competition is to stay awake during a tennis match. Trust you me is no easy task. Fortunately, there's a Space Channel 5 stage, which offers a big brassy rendition of that serious theme, which just might do the trick. From a functional standpoint, I can't say this is among the better tennis games I've played. Sure, the cast is interesting, but they're animated poorly. The controls and timing are almost inexplicable at times, and the vocal samples are repetitive and annoying not unlike real tennis. Fortunately, the somnolent nature of the sport itself is subverted by the challenge of putting absurd and oftentimes physically dubious spin on the ball, unleashing big flashy power shots, which may confuse or mildly inconvenience your opponent, and of course, giving the entire premise a miss and crafting strange, inexplicably tennis-based mini-games like, I can't make this up, the tennis of the dead. This, to me, is one of the game's prime selling points. Ooh la la, beating back a shambling horde of monsters with a tennis racket and gargoyles that fire... tennis balls. Just sit back and drink that one in, folks. That's crazy at its best. Even worse, civilians running across the court. Who do they think they are? Ball boys? There are zombies and dancers and tennis here. Get out while you still can! Man, no getting through to these people. Anyway. In addition to directly accessing the minigames and basic matches, there's a mission-centric Planet Superstars mode which takes you through various Sega-flavored competitions and challenges. If you're really looking for a tennis game that doesn't have any Mario characters on it, this is one of them. And it can be yours on PS2 or 3, 360, Wii, or DS. Get your tennis and go-go dancing fix wherever you go. What's love got to do with it?